Hi everyone, welcome to Tsukfan. What I'm wearing now is Xiaomi's glasses camera. And now let's see how does Xiaomi's first glasses camera perform. Overall, these glasses look similar to Google glasses with a slight sense of technology. But these are not a smart AR glasses. For now, they just have two functions, a camera and translation. So basically, it's a camera made in the shape of glasses that users can wear. Next, let's take a look at its appearance. To the right of it's a prime display whose angle can be adjusted up or down according to the position of the human eyes. Inside is a micro OLED screen with a peak brightness of 3000 nits. Even outdoors at noon, it can be seen clearly. On the right temple is the operation module, which can be operated by sliding or clicking. On the left is the camera module, below is a 50 million pixels main camera, above is an 80 million pixels periscope telephoto that supports 5 times optical zoom and 15 times hybrid zoom. Below the temples is a magnetic charging port, but you can't use it while charging, because the interface is very loose. At the back of this power button, long press the button to power on or off, and the short press to wake up. The rows of holes under the two temples are sound receiving holes. Camera glasses come with attachable lenses, if necessary, it can be used as a myopic lens. Overall, the material of this product is pretty good, but there is a big problem with the prism screen. Although the screen pixel density reaches 3221 ppi, which is 6 times of mobile phones. However, the scale of the display screen is small, resulting in a duration of the sight. And it is opaque and will block the view, so you'd better pay attention to safety when using it outdoors. I don't recommend wearing it, especially when doing external sports such as basketball games. Let's take a look at the design of glasses camera in recent years, which are basically all-in-one designs. This prismatic screen is already an obsolete design, therefore the appearance design of Meta glasses camera doesn't conform to the market trend. And as a pair of glasses, Meta glasses camera can be folded. If you don't want to wear it when you go out, it is very troublesome to carry it with you. After I've introduced the appearance of glasses to you, let's talk about the functions. When using it for the first time, the user needs to connect the app first. It is not connected to Meta, because Xiaomi has made a separate app for this product. Press and hold the power button to turn it on, and the camera interface will be displayed by default after power on. You can click to choose to take a photo or video, swipe back and forth with one finger to zoom. Swipe up and down with one finger to switch between recording and taking photos. Long press with two fingers to return to the previous function or exit the app. There are six functions in total and I will talk about the camera functions later. Rewinding time is an auxiliary function of the camera. When you start recording a video, you can record the material 10 seconds before the start of recording, which should be designed for snapshots. The 3G Guide is an AR instruction manual which helps with the box packaging. This feature looks cool but can help with the other things. The object recognition function is to display the information of animals and plants after shooting. There is nothing else to introduce. It is purely an entertainment. The functionality of translation is also currently limited. Why? I saw the translation function is that after the document can be photographed, the translation result will appear on the glasses screen. But in fact, it is a voice translation and the effect is relatively poor. Currently, only Chinese and English translations are supported. The main functions are the translation and the object recognition. Both must be used with an internet connection. But if there is no network, you can't use these two functions. So it is far less convenient than the mobile app. In addition to having an AR manual function, the other function has nothing to do with AR smart glasses functions. So basically, the real function of these glasses is a camera. So speaking of the main function of these glasses, how is the camera? Let's look at the camera function first. One time and five times have similar effects, not much different from mobile phones. The five times optical zoom, however, is a lot worse for photo quality. 
After all, the zoom is only 80 million pixels. Think about the photos you took with the phone from 8 years ago and don't have high expectations. Video recording is even worse. The anti-shaking effect is poor. It is very shaking when taking pictures, and there is not much difference between turning on. It is very shaking when taking pictures, and there is not much difference between turning on the anti-shake mod or not. And the highest video quality is 1080p. The only advantage is that you can see the shot in real time, and you only need to turn your head to see the shot. It is also puzzling that the glasses do not have an ultra-wide angle. As a first-person perspective shooting too, it is also an unexpected problem. One thing is notice that when shooting video 1 to 5 times and 5 to 15 times are two ranges. If you want to zoom more than 5 times, you must pause the shooting before continuing to zoom. The function of the glasses should be to facilitate the shooting at any time, so snapping is a very important function. But the capture function of these glasses is not satisfactory. In addition to the speed of taking pictures, you need to wake up the glasses from the sleeping mode before taking pictures. At this wake up from sleeping mode speed, you can easily miss the snapshot. Of course, you can keep it standby, but I don't recommend it. First of all, in the actual test, its battery life is about 2 hours, which is less than the official claim of 3.5 hours. The second is that the camera part tends to get very hot. Although it doesn't not directly touch the skin, it is very hot in summer. The memory of the glasses camera is 32GB, which is not large compared with current electronic products. Fortunately, exporting photos is very convenient. In this state of network connection, the photos and videos of the glasses can be quickly imported to the mobile phone. However, it should be noted that after importing to the phone, the photos and the glasses will be deleted. This product is Mitya's first smart glasses. Anything the manufacturer is honest enough. The high-definition micro OLED screen makes the photos not bad compared to the photos of the mobile phone. However, I don't find it very practical. The prism screen will block the field of view, so it's not suitable for sports, driving, etc. Action cameras or integrated smart glasses are more suitable for above scenarios. The 100 gram weight is exaggerated shape makes it less comfortable to wear than integrated smart glasses. Although the shooting effect is fine, the speed of capture and the stability of shooting are far less than that of mobile phones or action cameras. Currently, it can be used in first-person vlogs. Of course, Mitya's glasses camera is not willing to just to be an ordinary camera. Qualcomm's Snapdragon process still has the possibility of improvement. The manufacturer said that through the OTA upgrade in the later stage, AR functions such as scenic tour guides will be added. It may also add two-way screen projection, answering calls and other functions. If you're a technology enthusiast, or a fan of Xiaomi's, you can buy these glasses and experience the freshness. If you don't really interested in this, I don't recommend you to buy it. After all, the mobile phone can basically cover your needs. So why do you have to wear huge glasses on your head? That's it for now. Thank you for keeping me company in the world of smart devices. This is Tukfan. See you next time.